Welcome everyone, this is step 7 of building a RAG application using LangChain.js. So let's see what um, we have in this step. So uh, we have two new parameters uh, that we added in the constructor, in the class constructor. So we're passing the search type. So this is basically the algorithm that we will be using, um, the vector store will be using to retrieve the relevant documents. And we have a K documents um, parameter. This is basically telling the vector store to uh, pick the first K documents, the first two, the first three, the first five documents that are more relevant. So this is the number of documents that we need to pick. So we pass this uh, as parameters. Uh, we also have a default value for the search type. This is the similarity search. Uh, and then we storing this into uh, these two properties. Uh, there are other ways, there are other algorithms uh, that you can use for the search type. We have the maximum, um, uh, maximal uh, marginal relevance, the MMR. This is something that I will be covering in the um, uh, upcoming steps. But for now, we have like these two parameters passed to the constructor. Uh, then they are stored as uh, properties. Um, next, after we have uh, created the vector store, you can check the previous step, step number six, uh, we are going to create a retriever. So basically a retriever is an abstraction um, over the, the, the search mechanism that uh, its vector store has. The retriever is going to be like a, a, an abstraction, like a function basically, that we will be using to search um, and retrieve some documents from our vector store. So this is kind of like a, create a, a helper uh, method that will allows us to text inside the vector store for relevant documents. This step is going to be creating the retriever. Uh, so this is the, the method. Now uh, we are accessing the database, the vector store, uh, through the property this db. Uh, and then there's a method, the vector store has this as a retriever uh, method. We're passing the number of documents that we want to get and the search type. Uh, this were passed through the uh, through the parameters and through these arguments when we, we instantiate the class. And this will create, will give us back a retriever that will be stored in the class property retriever. So this method um, accepts these arguments and then uh, gives us this method that we will be able to use. Um, now this is part of the of the object class. So once we instantiate the class, uh, we'll have uh, a retriever property that will be available and that will allow us to uh, retrieve documents from the vector store. So uh, we instantiate the class, we pass the two uh, arguments, and then if I run step seven, you will see that we get uh, the number of, of uh, returned uh, documents. So this is the K property of the retriever. This is the uh, number that we passed here. And this is the search type. So basically this uh, property gives us some information about the retriever. Now let's go ahead and use it. So we, we need to call the retriever. Now we, uh, we cannot uh, directly call the retriever. Um, I mentioned it's a method, but it's, it's not a method, it's an object that provides a helper um, method, an invoke method, through which you can actually invoke it and pass a string and get back some relevant results. So you um, access the retriever, through the retriever you access the invoke method, you pass in text, um, and then you will get the relevant documents according to the numbers set here. So if I run this search, we will see uh, five documents that are relevant to our text search. So we have a uh, the first document, as always, is the first uh, result is the most relevant result. Um, so uh, given this question, what can you do with an AI assistant? We see that we get um, one of the pages. Let me see page content. Uh, we can find the the page, uh, the PDF page that this text belongs to in this uh, in this metadata property. Unfortunately, I cannot see it uh, the console right right now, but you see that it's it seems that it's something related to our AI assistant uh, 
a question that's why it's it's the first result we have another document which for some reason uh the vector uh search picked uh this is probably the the next section from this from this page uh, and then some other documents that the uh, search algorithm found uh, to be uh, closely related of course the documents at the bottom like the, the last documents will be less relevant than the first ones uh, they're scored and then they're provided in, a, in an ordered manner so we always must look at the first few documents so that's how the retriever works. It's like an abstraction over the vector store. It gives us an object that we can invoke and depending on the parameters that we passed when we configured it, uh, we get um, the relevant documents from our vector store. Um, and of course, you can pick the first document and then see the page content. So let's see what the the first document has this, this text. Uh, we can also check the metadata just to see what this is all about. So we can see that this document belongs to the PDF, uh, to this PDF that we used. Um, and then we can see that it was like page number one from the PDF and the related relevant lines were uh, one to 15. Um, this is important because sometimes you might provide more than one PDF to the vector store. So it will be nice to see uh, which uh, the, the results that we get, um, uh, which uh, PDF they belong to. Uh, so this is um, the retriever. This is step number seven. Um, uh, as always, leave your comments, your feedback. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next step. Thank you for watching.